Hi boys and girls, I'm going to read a story called Hershey's Milk Chocolate Weights and Measures by Jerry Pilata, illustrated by Rob Bolster, because who doesn't love Hershey's chocolate? Welcome to Weights and Measures. Here are some words. Foot, gallon, ounce, meter, mile, pint, quart, and many more. What do they all mean? Let's start reading and find out. If something is a foot long, how long is it? Is it as long as an elephant's foot? Is it as long as a chicken's foot? A baby's foot? A basketball player's foot? These feet are all different lengths. Ruler. Everybody needs to use the same measurement when describing a distance or a length. Here is a ruler. It will help us to measure things. Inch. Here is one inch. Each piece of candy here is one inch wide. Two pieces of candy side by side are two inches wide. Here is a foot. No, not the foot in your shoe. In this book, a foot is a unit of measure. 12 inches equals one foot. Yard. If something is a yard long, it does not mean the same thing as the yard behind someone's house. One yard is the same length as three feet. 36 inches is the same as one yard. Mile. How long is a mile? It is exactly 1,760 yards. It is also 5,280 feet. How many Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bars with almonds placed end to end would you need to make a mile? You would need more than 12,000 of them. In most countries outside the United States, People do not use inches, feet, yards, or miles. They use a different system of measurement. They use the metric system, which can use different units of measure. If you can count by tens, you can figure out the metric system. Here is a centimeter. A centimeter is the same length anywhere in the world. It is about the same width as one Reese's Pieces candy. Decimeter, 10 centimeters, is called a decimeter. How many kilometers is it from your house to school? How many miles? Do you walk or take a bus? Meter. 100 centimeters is a meter. 10 decimeters is also a meter. 1,000 meters is a kilometer. That's enough measuring of length or distance, but what about weight? What weighs more, a ton of Reese's peanut butter cups a ton of feathers, or a ton of lead? That question was a tricky one. Don't get fooled by the size. They all weigh the same. A ton is a standard measure. Who would want to eat the feathers anyway? Ounce. Here is one ounce. It is a measure of a specific amount of weight. There are 12 pieces in a Hershey's milk chocolate bar. Together, Eight of the pieces weigh about an ounce. Pound. A pound is 16 ounces. If someone asks you how much do you weigh, it is very common to give the answer in pounds. This bag of Twizzlers Twist weighs one pound. Wow! Here is a Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bar that weighs five pounds. The Hershey's Chocolate Factory makes them. The students in your school can share one five pound bar among themselves. Ton. A ton is 2,000 pounds. This pile is a ton of Twizzlers cherry flavored nibs. Do not eat them all at once. Remember the metric system? The metric system also deals with weights. Here is a small unit of weight. A milligram. A thousand milligrams is called a gram. No, not the gram as a nickname in your grandma. A gram is a measure of weight. The average almond weighs about one gram. 
kilogram. 1,000 grams is a kilogram. What weighs more, a ton or a metric ton? What if you ask for some milk? It is important to say how much you want. If you don't, you might get a teaspoon, a tablespoon, or a teeny weeny thimble full. Or you might get a tanker, full of, a tanker truck full of milk. Liquids need to be measured too. When measuring liquids, we do not use length or distance, we use volume. Fluid ounce. Here is one fluid ounce of Hershey's chocolate syrup. Let's go make some chocolate milk. Cup. In this book, a cup does not mean a glass or a cup from your kitchen cabinet. One cup is eight fluid ounces. Here is a cup of chocolate milk. Mmm, delicious. Pint. If you drink two cups of chocolate milk, it is the same as drinking a pint. Two equal cups equals one pint. A pint is also equal to 16 ounces. Quart. Waiter, waiter, I would like to order one quart of chocolate milk, please. Two pints equals one quart. Four cups equals one quart. Gallon. Four quarts equal one gallon. One quart is a quarter gallon. That's where the word quart comes from. How many pints are in a gallon? How many cups? Billions of gallons. How many gallons of water are in the ocean? Billions and billions and billions of gallons. What if the ocean were made of cho cho chocolate milk? The whales probably wouldn't like it. There is a metric system for liquids too. The system is based on the liter as the unit of measure. Milliliter, here is one milliliter. 10 milliliters equals a centiliter. 100 centiliters equals a liter. How many different types of drinks are sold in one liter bottles? 1,000 liters is called a kiloliter. How many liters do you think would it take to fill that tub? Time. There is another thing we measure. It's called time. How long did it take me to read this book? Did it take a second, a minute, or an hour? There are 24 hours in one day. There are seven days in one week. There are 52 weeks in one year. There are also 12 months in one year. Did it take you one year to read this book? There is no such thing as metric time. Here is something we cannot measure. We cannot measure how much you love reading. We hope you always love to read. The end.